Hi everyone, uh, hello to the subscribers and viewers of the Mentorship Project. This is Yash Bhatnagar. I am a fourth year law student from National Law University, Lucknow. Uh, today I am here to express some of my opinions and views and experience that I gained from interning at Ikigai Law, uh, alias externing at Ikigai Law in the month of October 2023. Now, moving before moving forward, I am somebody who is pursuing technology, media, telecommunication and data protection law in its totality of career wise and that is why Ikigai Law was one of the firms that I really wanted to intern at and that's how the application process started for me. I reached out through their internship ID where I sent my resume, my expression of interest. Uh, their internship process is vividly defined on their website. You can go and check out their internship process and apply and the key for the application is to obviously to send multiple follow-ups is to if you apply let's uh, as what as but what they say is that they shortlist their application two months prior to the internship date or the externship date so you may have to take regular follow-ups uh, on the email id and that's how you should get shortlisted for the entire application or, or the entire candidature of your internship Moving forward, I obviously was working under the technology, media, telecommunication and data protection domain. Majorly, I worked under the data protection domain as, as well as healthcare and gaming uh, law as a domain. Uh, my mentor was Shambhavi Ravi Shankar. She was the one who also took my interview, which also made away to the fact that uh, before they allot you an internship slot they take you they take an interview of not more than 15 minutes to gauge your preliminary and basic knowledge about the laws that you want to intern under so that is a heads up that you should be prepared for now with regard to the externship experience because i was an extern i was virtually interning with the firm but uh, in my and I, I had had my apprehension because of some of the logistics logistical reasons I couldn't intern with the firm. So what would be my experience? But hands down, it was one of the finest experience that I have in terms of working with a group of people in terms of a corporate setup. Uh, starting with how the office culture was and how were the people, how were the people, how were they with allotting the work. I did not face any trouble when it comes to getting work allotted. They were extremely kind uh, with regards to the timelines. They were extremely kind with, with regards to as to what is the bandwidth, what one person should carry when it comes to doing certain work in a corporate yet virtual setup. And they were very kind uh, considering that if I was in college and I had to have some academic commitments to cater my academic commitments as well and to balance the work that they are giving. So that that is something that I found really, really intriguing as well as uh, uh, fascinating about a corporate setup. So that's a 10 on 10 from my end. Uh, with regards to the work, I assisted them with almost every domain. I assisted uh, the associates, the senior associates and the councils there uh, with regard to the domain of obviously technology law, of IT rules, data protection, the DDPA Act, the GDPR of the European Union, then uh, making uh, healthcare stakeholder mapping as, and a lot of regulatory and government compliance work as well as to who's who and who can do what in the set of the government setup that has been created. And what are the profiling, what are the views of people in terms of a separate unit, a se separate section of, uh, let's say, AI or data protection. And in that research, you also get to know as to what are the recent developments in terms of AI, what are the developments that are going on in data protection. So that in, in view of you profiling and working in some regulatory practice, you also hone your current uh, contemporary knowledge with regards to data protection and knowledge with regards to that. Obviously, there were a research proposition that was strictly related to sections, that was stri strictly related to rules and acts of that are related to IT and that are related to uh, cyber uh, cyberspace or anything that with regards to that. I also had have a chance to assist them on ESG proposition that is environment social governance propositions 
uh, with regard to sustainability with regards to the culmination and the intertwining of ipc that is the indian penal code with cyber laws and it rules so that is one thing that i had a lot of fun with and it it was not only fun learning as to there were a lot of laws that are intertwined with the area of cyberspace or with the area of information technology data protection in in view of that but since it's a developing space and uh, we all know that it is a policy oriented space so that is why i had a lot of fun as well as it was a quite a learning experience to know as to what is being developed under the realm of data protection ai information technology vis a vis the existing laws criminal laws corporate laws uh, company law in that matter so that is my general work as to what i do the research propositions the stakeholder mapping the tabulation of uh, resources were in lieu of this only i also had a chance to prepare a presentation uh, for them uh, in the lieu of this uh, on, in lieu of this externship on it rules 2021 which was one of one of the great experiences that i can say i had because uh, if you are working in a corporate setup and there is a chance to create a presentation out of it that is something that you not only have a robust research idea about you get a robust research idea about but you also hone your creative skills intertwining them with your legal research skills that is something that i take away from the internship one of the thing that i take away from the internship coming back to the fact that uh, the people at office were amazing they were very kind they understood my bandwidth as a person to work on a corporate proposition or a proposition that required time timeliness in terms of that you need to give it to a client as soon as possible and they gave work accordingly and uh, in my bandwidth of a, if of somebody of an extern who wants to just go out and learn first and then implement these application based proposition in real life and i was assessed accordingly as well so that was my experience uh, with the with iti law i think i will rate the internship 9 out of 10 uh, that there is no particular reason as to the deduction of 9 uh, 10 out of from the 10 out of 10 series because i genuinely loved the internship but in all together 9 out of 10 is something that i'll get for for the ikigai law internship if you are someone who wants to make a career in technology media telecommunication data protection even mna for that matter uh, merger and acquisition company law in that matter you can apply at ikigai's law website or through ikigai law's email and get a slot reserved for yourself in the coming time if you are also a law student who are looking for uh, venturing into the niche field of let's say IT rules and the cyber space this is a place this will be definitely a place for you and uh, i hope you learn a lot uh, like i did and i would like to thank the people the hr the associates and the senior executive that iki guy law for allowing me to learn all this and to also allowing me to be a part of their space in in our even in a virtual capacity and i hope to assist them in your future as well Thank you this is Yash Bhatnagar signing off thank you